Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic. And I'm Tren. And this is our Cups Defense Guide. Um, Cups is a bit of a weird defense. It's kind of in between Rule of Five and Chevrons. Except it's not really covering the sidelines. And it's not... It's protecting four players, but it's not protecting them that well. Two of them are very protected. But two can get hit from around the outside, especially if it's a fast team like humans. So it's it's not really giving you that much more protection, but it is giving you a bit more threat with the blitz and potentially perfect defense. And it's you know it's not as easy to punch down the side, to break through down the side as it is with the rule of five. But it is easier to break through the middle than it is with rule of five. So it's just it's just a, a strange defense. Uh, Lizardmen. You see Lizardmen use this sometimes because, you know, they can kind of protect the four skinks and then obviously skinks are super fast, so they, they're they gaining more out of that, I guess. Uh, but I personally am not a great fan of, of cups. I would rather go, um, you know, really wide or really central. Like, I, I, I feel like this isn't doing enough for me personally. I don't really like it. But, you know, people use it, so we might as well cover it. Um, so, yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to have a crack? I'm ready! Glorious. Cool. Um, I, I see that it's a lot easier for me to get a 2 die. I've actually never played uh, offen off offense against <laughs> cups before. Fun fact. Yeah. I don't know if that's weird, so... Yeah, it's not often seen. Um, I've tried to make this, you know, like, obviously with catches, so I put the tackle at one side and then three guards, so it's it's quite imbalanced. Necessarily imbalanced. It would be better, of, of course, if you had two mighty blows. Um, and I guess it's, again, not like the rule of five, it's not great at stopping a two-turn because it is giving quite a lot of wings. Yeah, I was debating here for a little on if I wanted to go through the middle or the side, but I'm thinking the sideline's probably best just to take, to get away from as many of your players as possible. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? The, with the rule of five, everybody's there able to react, and with this, these four, it's a bit harder for them to get involved. Mm -hmm. So you kind of do need a fast team to use this, which is, again, another bonus of Lizardmen. That seems like a pretty spicy spot for that blitzer. It might be a little too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> you know, we're just going to do it for fun. <laughs> I know... Okay, so... Again, you're like by taking the side lane, I'm not too concerned with your players on the right hand side of the field. They can't yeah. really do too much, so I think I'm pretty safe just tagging as many people as I can on this side. Yeah. To then run the ball forward. The problem with that square is it's directly where you'd want your catcher to move through. Oh. Like, that's okay if you don't want your catcher to move eight. But, like, you need to think about where your catcher's going to go because, like, you don't mean that he would go through there. Oh, uh, yeah. Bad, my bad. <laughs> so then, uh, I, yeah, I can just run this catcher all the way through and then get the ball on the other one and try and score, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's looking um, pretty good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just pull him in just in case your ogre hits that blitzer on the line. You can't really wrap around that easy with that catcher that you have. Yeah.
sideline is better here. Doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's yeah, I can't really surf you there, I don't think. It's it's probably okay. fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> um, it's it's probably fine. <laughs> I think there's something I'm missing. <laughs> um, there is a chain on um, that I can chain to get the guard in, but I don't think it's gonna oh, be yeah. that effective. But I... you're probably gonna have to dodge that lineman to try and help somehow, I guess. I think, I think that catcher's the only one that's actually scary. I mean, this catcher is too. Yeah. So funny enough, if if he if he if you had moved your catcher one less, then he would have been better there. So unfortunately, the saying about him blocking the path, he would probably been better off not like you know not blocking the path and not standing there for this chain. But I don't think the chain yeah. is that good to be honest. But it's just something to think about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I have made a mistake. Yeah, that makes it harder because now it's a one D, so I've got to put in somebody I mean, I'm still gonna go for this like I don't really understand why <laughs> but that's why I did not put the ball there, because <laughs> <laughs> I was scared that there was something I was missing. Yeah. I can get that's a little bit in the way, right? The catcher there. Yeah, this doesn't feel as scary to me as the one we just did with chevrons. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 definitely worse at stopping the two turn. It's 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 like it's like more like rule of five. It's just it's basically just. A variant of Rule of Five that gives you a bit more on on Blitz, basically, um, and also it's got kind of less flexibility with offsetting the LOS than than Rule of Five because it kind of defeats the object of the cups if there's nothing holding the middle together. So, whereas the Rule of Five holds the middle together itself. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one. I've never I've never been a fan, but. It you know it, the the bad thing about probably the worst thing about rule of five is not be not really giving you anything on a blitz and, and cups yeah. does give you a great blitz if you know you can easily get people through on either side from it so that has got to be its biggest uh, its biggest pro. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've actually ever played against cups. To be fair. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not that popular a defense, but it's good to talk about it because um, you know it 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 it's, it sets up it sets up a later video, which is the Gadenic setup, uh, which we we should maybe think of a better name than the Gadenic setup, but you know Gadenic is a is a great streamer in Blood Bowl Two, great great Blood Bowl player, and uh, it's, he's basically made this incredible defense, which. Uh, he uses almost exclusively, and I use almost exclusively now, so that will be an exciting one as far as videos about Blood Bowl setups can be exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, looking here, I think uh, one die. Yeah. That's likely going to be a push since is the better odds than rolling a bunch of dice to try and make something work. Yeah, you might be able to like roll a bunch of dice to free somebody, but even if you free somebody, like your catch is standing in the way of where they'd have to get to, yeah. right? So yeah, I think it's probably easiest just to do the one day. I think so as well. Hey Easy. <laughs> I mean that was really easy, easy. wasn't it? Just a just a yeah. three plus. 
Easiest score of the day, honestly. Yeah. Only score of the day, actually. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, that that was a thing. It was, uh, you know, you'd kind of expect to, right? Cups and rule of five aren't really great at defending two turns. Uh, it's it's mostly just a word. You know, if if you set up in in cups or rule of five, you should be happy about your opponent two turning because it means that you've got plenty of time to score back and win two one. So, so if if you're desperate to stop your opponent scoring, you should not use rule of five or cups. I don't think. Um, if you don't, if you want to stop them scoring at all costs, I think they're bad setups. But it does give you something over rule of five, which is the increased blitz and. And that's pretty much it. Um, maybe the more chance of uh, more chance of destabilizing them early um, in general uh, than than rule of five. Uh, so there you go. Right, pretty pretty cool video. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>